On this day in 1960, a peaceful anti-apartheid demonstration was held in the South African township of Sharpville, but the demonstration quickly turned into a massacre when police opened fire on protesters, killing 69 people. Now, this date, March 21st, marks the International Day for the Elimination of Racism. Countless people around the world continue to suffer the effects of racism. We talked to a male model living and working here in Germany who says he's experienced repeated professional and personal discrimination because of the color of his skin. Alfidia comes from Senegal. He now lives in Hamburg, where he works as a model. He says he's experienced repeated discrimination because of the color of his skin. Like when he wanted to go to a club with friends. They always said, no, no go. That was brutal for me. We didn't even have a chance. And even if we did, it fell apart when we had to show ID cards. We had special ID papers, and they always said no. He's also had problems with prejudice in his modeling work. Sorry, but unfortunately, we don't have clients for you. Or, you look great, but try New York. And I say, hey, I'm here in Germany. I did my schooling here, and I want to be successful here. And these were such blatant moments, realizing that there were limits to my career and my future because of my appearance. Afidia sees this as racist exclusion, and he's not the only one. German society may be diverse, but anyone with a different skin color or who wears a headscarf is likely to experience racism sooner or later. That goes for Berlin and the whole country. One researcher says that 90 percent of the respondents see racism in Germany as a problem. Those who belong to a minority are usually speaking from experience. The numbers speak for themselves. Racism is not a marginal phenomenon, but one that affects society as a whole. Schools, the police, labor and housing are some of the primary areas affected by racism. But help is available. There are dozens of resource centers in Berlin alone that are publicly funded. Reach Out is just one of them, offering psychological help. It's always the case here that people are traumatized by racist attacks. They're traumatized by racial hostility. And that, in turn, causes physical problems. People can't sleep, and they are constantly afraid. Aid workers, politicians and scientists all agree. Racism is not an individual problem, but a structural problem.